We've made it to Canada and my first Costco ever in Vancouver, BC. We're on this road trip and I thought, why not see what they have at the Canadian Costco and stock up for the Airbnb. And we're pretty excited because they have different menu items here. Fries Daddy, and of course, poutine. What? You wanna get fries? Okay. Other than that though, it's all the same. But those are some major differences. You want poutine? Yeah. Okay. You want pizza, pepperoni, or cheese? Cheese. Okay, we'll get one cheese. I think that'll be good. Yes? Um, I want soda. You want soda? All right. We don't have chicken bake. Ice cream. You know what? Might as well get a uh, hot dog. Oh wait, they got Polish dogs here? So they got Polish dog and beef hot dog. What is Polish? Polish? Okay, we're gonna get Polish and then we'll get three drinks for you girls, okay? Just like our Costco, they got the cheese and pep. But look at this. I had no idea. Way more kid friendly. Though the girls do love their chicken bakes. Okay, so we got our food pretty quickly and we got the poutine. French fries, which are pretty crispy, and then chicken strips and the pizza. Looks like girls, how's the poutine so far? It's good. Only downside is they only got these bar tops, literally. So uh, guess who has to sit down here? You want your chicken now? <laughs> Probably not as hot. Here you go. Be careful, okay? Supposedly this is the best poutine in Canada, which is. I'm actually kind of shocked that people would say that, considering this is such a national treasure. Mm. Oh my God, I'll tell you though, I've had some good poutine, this is a bomb. The gravy, so flavorful. You know, personally, I don't like it when the cheese is squeaky, and this cheese is not too squeaky. That is bomb. It's definitely worth it. All right, do you know how to get it? All right, let me open that for you, okay? Always nice when vending machines take credit card. Chicken? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Peppery, moist, and very salty. This is ridiculous. Why don't they have regular tables here? Why? Ah, you want to be part of this, huh? You want some more chicken or french fries? Popeye. You want french fries? Okay, here we go. You know what would go good with these french fries? Some ketchup. They have ketchup. What do you think about the chicken? Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Leah approved. The girl said slices are bigger in the States, but... They slice it down the middle. So it's the same size as Costco, mm, but it's like, yeah. This is not the best poutine I've had, but for six bucks, how much you get, Hi. solid. Normally I wouldn't eat so much junk all at once, but today, kind of special day. These girls are really patient. It's a road trip. One thing about this Costco, it is huge. This might be one of the biggest Costco buildings I've ever been to. It is really close to downtown. Not quite downtown, but yeah. The verdict on the food is very good. In some ways you miss what you're used to. The pizza is a little bit different here. Uh, chicken bakes, obviously one of our favorites. But man, the poutine and the french fries. And there's one other thing too. They had both hot dogs, beef and Polish. We used to have both hot dogs, but they got rid of one of them. I think they got rid of the Polish, right? Cause now it's all beef. I prefer beef, but nice having the option. Tim Hortons, coffee. I guess this is very popular here. I don't know, let me know. Is this good or is it just like nostalgic for people? Already one of the differences. And if you live here in Canada, it's totally normal to you, but for everyone else, both English and French on all the labels. Biologics, biologics, organic and French. All their food. What is the rule? What has to have French and what doesn't? So as far as I know, French is spoken on the East Coast a lot more. I think in the Quebec area, makes sense. Sounds kind of French, but 
here, not as much, and we're on the west coast of Canada, British Columbia. But I wonder if they just have the same packaging because it'd be too hard to have two versions, so hence why there's French on all their packages. Leah's favorite department, the cooler. Judy asked us to get some blueberries. Extra? We have to get, remember, one for our mama. All right, so let's get two of them. Can you grab those two, please? Those are all yeah. good. These huh? are big, see? Those aren't good. Okay, all right. Are you the blueberry expert? I like having these helpers. This is the first time the twins have come with me to a Costco. I think ever since I started vlogging me going to Costco. We found something unique and different. Juju bees. I don't like that. It's citrus? Oh, that's the first time. It's from Australia. The logo, the logo shows Australia on it. Okay, we're gonna go. Are you getting cold? Yeah, okay. Uh, this is new. Cheese buns. Petites puns au fromage. Cheese buns. Huh. Actually, it does look good. I think we should get this. This sounds kind of good. Yeah, yeah, let's get it for sure. Okay. We don't have those. Here, can you put that down? I never tried a Twinkie before. A Twinkie? Come on. No, we just had all that sugar. We definitely don't need no Twinkies, okay? What is this? A Biscoff Daddy! cake? Wow. Daddy! Oh my God, that would be I so good. So that is tempting right there, but like I said, we just had a lot of sugar. There's a nice line at the samples. Where we're from, there's no line. It's just like everybody is out for themselves, all different directions. I've never seen a line at the samples stand before. We have those same cookies. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Huh. Girls, did you notice how they were, everyone was lined up nicely? We never line up. Like when I say we, go. like literally you nobody. You just grab and go. Yeah. Usually the samples don't even uh, last yeah, on the tray for very long. Done. So we're gonna visit Mama Cell yeah. and I thought it'd be nice to bring her some steaks. She's a steak eater, so. Canadian beef. Look how busy it is. Kira just found something really delicious looking. Goat cheese and caramelized Daddy, onions. Goat Ravioli? It's greatest of all time. Oh, greatest of all time cheese? Okay. Well, then we might have to get it. No. <laughs> Whenever I come to Canada, I always find different types of cheese. And I haven't been to a Canadian Costco, but I'm surprised they don't have that brand. Is that the Kirkland brand? My question was, are there different rules for cheese here? Why is the cheese different? I know in Europe, you you don't have to pasteurize cheese in the states there's a, there's a rule around milk and pasteurization you you don't find a lot of raw milk products because you don't find a lot of raw milk in the states because of our rules for pasteurization but in 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 europe a lot more raw milk products in fact it's probably not even called raw milk i don't know let me know because maybe Maybe uh, Canada is the same. I always find different types of cheeses here that I can't find in the States. Yes? Uh, yeah, you guys can go together. Tell me that ain't cute, huh? Tell me that ain't cute. I would love to go to France and just try cheese. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, look at this. A few months back, we tried this some um, lumpia. This is their apple pie rolls, which are awesome, especially with the Kirkland brand vanilla ice cream. I haven't seen this. I knew they had it, but look at this. Gyoza dumplings. I think the company Sum is from Canada. So that makes sense. They have a whole bunch of their products. They even have spring rolls over there. You want to go in there? Oh yeah, we need to get milk. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm, assume, I'm assuming that's just full fat milk. Homo homogenized, okay. That's what we're getting right here. There was literally no room inside of that cooler area. It wasn't really designed for a lot of carts. It's a probiotic soda. That's interesting. If you've never been to Vancouver, BC, there's a lot of Asian people. Wherever there is Asian people, there's a lot of tea. Got oolong tea. I might actually get this. There's matcha. I've never seen matcha sold like this before. Oh my gosh, lychee nectar. Let me see this. I really want to try this. Please, Daddy. Oh no, you really like lychee. Go ahead, put it in the cart. Okay, all okay. right. Chai tea. Okay, I know you're not supposed to call it chai tea because chai is tea, but there's chai here. I forgot, what is this? Is this a banana tea? 
Oh, what? What? My favorite tart cherry juice. A huge container of it. I just bought two bottles of this. Okay. I don't like it. Bye, Daddy. Eleven ninety nine. Okay. All right. Daddy, back to the teas. Just put it in there. VLT lemon tea drink. Where's that from? A lot of Asian stuff here, and we haven't even scratched the surface yet. Way more common in Asia, but they have it here. Banana flavored milk drink. You guys are allowed to both pick one thing, okay? I didn't choose that. Okay, no, she chose that. You can choose something else, but I'm just telling you. you let's just look and see, okay? All dressed. Unique to Canada. I think I've seen this once or twice in the States, but yeah, all dressed. How do I describe this? Cheddar sour cream with salt and vinegar and Thousand Island dressing and put it into a flavor, a flavor packet, and then sprinkle it on. Be careful with it. Yeah, even though people wait in line here for the samples, there's a reason why people are pretty, pretty uh, aggressive. I, the guy that was just waiting there, <laughs> this has happened in multiple stands, as the lady was pouring it out into the cup, he was grabbing it basically from her hand so that no one else would grab it. Yeah, that guy, he was serious. If you're new to Costco, avoid Friday afternoons, Friday early evenings. Go on the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday during the day, if you can. Obviously, if you got work or something, avoid Fridays. This is the real deal. Did you know that Canada has stockpiles of maple syrup? They're serious about their maple syrup here. Now, nothing against Canadian maple syrup, but America also has great maple syrup. Anywhere in New England. That's where my dad's from, Maine. Legit. Vermont too. Vermont, shout out to Vermont. All those states. I don't know, I guess it's subjective. It's based off your flavor profile preferences. We're in the noodle section. Found something new. Japchae. Japchae? Yeah. It's, it's a Korean chewy, noodle. Chewy, chewy. Oh yeah, you like this? When we were in Koreatown, went to our friend Choco's restaurant and they had that. Good stuff. This is the second time I've seen this. What is this? Bird's nest soup. We had this at another Costco, not where we live, but closer to Seattle. Is it? Oh, literally, it's a swallow nest soup. The nest of a swallow, a bird. Is that the bird that lives on a cliff? I don't know. That's a lot of nests. If, if there's that much there, imagine how much is in another Costco and another store. Ooh, butter chicken. Now this is what I'm talking about. Japanese rice sold at Costco. Oh yeah. That whole thing, 34 bucks. That's a good deal. See, now this, this is a good buy. In fact, I'm gonna get that. Judy picked this Airbnb based on the fact that they had a rice cooker in the listing. So, perfect. Got the rice, honey. Watch out, watch out. Hey, are you, are you gonna push? Instant red curry in a can. That's a first for me. Frank's Red Hot. That's a huge, those are two huge bottles. That would last us probably six to eight chicken wing batches right there. Here's a multi-flavor pack of Wait, Daddy, chips. We never have that. I What's know. What's that? What's it called? Um, souffles? Those are just souffles. Yeah, that's the French version of puffs, but oh. it's uh, Cheeto puffs. They got the ruffles all dressed. Nacho cheese? They got the nacho cheese. Classic. All flavors except this one that we have, but they got ketchup. I remember the first time I saw these. I was 18 French. years old. I was going to a leadership conference here in Canada. And I remember sitting down with a whole bunch of strangers and uh, they had a whole bunch of different chips just like that on the table for us oh, when we first got there. I was like, ketchup chips? You know what? I tried the ketchup ones and they're, they're pretty good. It's an interesting flavor because it's a condiment for hot dogs or something you put on a burger, but not a flavor you'd eat by itself. That's why it was unusual for me and so many Americans. Yes. You're thirsty? You want a drink? Okay, you can get one drink, okay? Come on. Okay. Okay, so you know I always make fun of the fake Kewpie or the, the Americanized flavored Kewpie. 
I was looking for it and I didn't see it. Next to these girls, you know, Hellman's, real mayonnaise, normal. Something uh, I discovered for the first time. Right here, a tub of mayonnaise, girls. You think we would use this much mayonnaise? Because we always we always get the QP. Yeah, that that huge tub wouldn't wouldn't be ideal for us. But I'm sure there's people that use a lot of mayonnaise. Is that a is that a common ingredient here in Canada? Do people use that much mayonnaise? Speaking of QP, look what I found. QP salad dressing. But where's the real QP? They also have a lot of mustard. This is Dijon. Those are huge bottles. Got the classic yellow. Even a line to check out. It's crazy. I was warned about this. Judy's cousin Kate told me, try to avoid the rush hour. And this is the height of rush hour. Not even a quarter of the cart is filled up. Barely, that's a small Costco shopping take 184 bucks. That's the most expensive pound for pound Costco visit I've ever went on. Canada, you're expensive. I did forget though, it's Canadian dollars, so it's slightly cheaper. My. Oh my gosh, there's a little backup. People just left their carts. And the cart, the cart holder's right over there. Come on. People can't just go right across the street. 